Hey, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another video. Before we start, we'd like to thank you all for your support and love. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. So let's begin. What does it mean to be strong? Oftentimes you may associate being strong with being physically strong, like lifting weights or punching bags. However, it's also important to think about your strength in terms of mental health. You may underestimate what a healthy mindset can do for you. Here are 10 signs that you are mentally stronger than most people. Number one, you allow yourself to cry. Do you sometimes cry to let out your sadness and frustrations? Psychologists have found that crying can actually help you relieve tension and stress and help relax your muscles. Without this emotional release, your body may end up taking on more physiological stress and it may lead to problems such as mental fatigue, higher blood pressure, and lapses in memory. Number two, you don't try to control everything. You constantly have to manage everything or make sure things are in place and fear it'll go wrong. Sometimes there are things that are out of your control and holding on instead of letting go may end up hurting you. A sign of mental strength, therefore, is in learning to let go of some of the uncomfortable things in life. Number three, you use your time wisely. Do you have things scheduled one after the other or have a list of things you have to accomplish by a certain time? While it's good to have a productive mindset, it's also healthy to take a break now and again. Preparing your work may help avoid procrastination or from feeling too overwhelmed. It's important for your mental health to have a balance of work and other activities. Number four, you practice gratitude. Have things not worked out for you lately? Maybe a concert you were really looking forward to was canceled or you didn't get to see your best friend. While you may feel frustrated and be tempted to complain about all the things going wrong, it's also important to practice gratitude for the things you do have. Instead of focusing on all of the bad, appreciating the things you have can go a long way for your mental health. Number five, you're kind to others. Do you help your neighbors with their groceries or help your friends study with a difficult exam? A sign of true strength is to practice empathy and compassion even when things are going wrong. It takes courage and resilience to continually be a positive impact on the world despite all the things going on right now. Number six, you're open to new ideas. Do you move on to look for better things when the situation you're in no longer benefits you? It's not always the case that giving up is a sign of weakness. Sometimes it can be healthy to let go of things that are holding you down instead of helping you grow. A sign of strength is when you can welcome new ideas and adapt to new changes in life. Number seven, you learn from your mistakes. Do you reflect on your past mistakes and see how you would have improved? It can be easy to focus on the things that went wrong and fall into a pit of self-blame. A sign of mental strength is the ability to acknowledge your mistakes and find ways to improve and be better. Number eight, you spend money responsibly. Do you buy things you don't need? Impulse buying, especially in this day and age, can be tempting and very easy to do. Having self-restraint and discipline is important as it can help you be aware of the things you really need instead of buying the things that may only help satisfy an urge. Number nine, you're not codependent. Do you overly rely on others for support? When you don't have a strong sense of self, you may end up depending on others for everything, including to validate your worth. And therefore, it's crucial you're able to work on your own problems and overcome obstacles on your own to develop a strong sense of self. And 10, you continue to persist. Do you give up or keep on going when things start to get difficult? Experiencing rejections and failures can sometimes lead to defeat, but the key is whether you get back up and keep trying or not. You may feel frustrated or even upset at times, but a sign of mental strength is in your persistence to keep going. Do you think you're mentally strong? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share it with others who may find it helpful too. All the references used are located in the description box below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.